good luck, everybody. Let's see what we got. One, two, three people. Okay, well, I hope you're not too attached to each other because this is going to get ugly. So here's what I want you to do. Question comes up, you know the answer, so you hit your buzzer and then you press one, two, three, or four. It's not brain surgery, folks. Here come the biters. Uh-oh, I think I saw some spinach in one of those teeth. All right, now word on the biters. If you get to a question that you know your neighbor doesn't have any idea what the answer is, bite them. Buzz in and hit the space bar, and uh, they'll thank you for it later. Well, uh, if there's no further questions, let's start today's lesson. Hey, Blue, it's all you. This baby is... The weirder the flavor, the better. 20,000 bucks for a correct answer. And we're out. If the folks who make Ruffles potato chips come out with Truffles potato chips, what will it say on the bag? Gross-looking insect-flavored, painful rash-flavored, underground fungus-flavored, or poisonous berry-flavored? Grab it, Greeny. Truffles are underground fungi that people often eat as a delicacy. Yeah, you knew that sooner or later all the good junk foods are going to try to sneak a mushroom or two into your mouth. What's next? Like celery? Green, you're good at picking things. Go for it. And I believe this one's called Snuffy's Got a Brand New Bird. This one will get you 10 grand. Flex those fingers, because here it comes. If Big Bird is replaced by the biggest living bird in the world, what will you see on the show? An eagle tickling Elmo, a finch nesting in Ernie's hair, an ostrich digging in Oscar's garbage, or a parrot counting with the... Hit it, Red! At 10 feet tall and more than 150 pounds, the ostrich is the largest living bird around. So Big Bird doesn't even come close. Besides, he's not really a bird. It's just some guy in a bird outfit. Oh, yeah, and there's no Santa Claus either. Hey, Red, time to pick. Pucker up for... Am I supposed to eat the beak, too? And you pocket 20,000 clams if you get this one. Hey, you remember that Sheryl Crow song that went, All I want to do is have some fun? Well, if Sheryl Crow were to eat crow, how might audiences hear her sing All I want to do in concert? I take back what I said about having fun. All I want to do is have a blast. I'm having more fun now than I ever have, or I'm still waiting to have that fun. You go, Blue. A blast? No problem. No! Red, green, go get it. Green, it's yours. Are you really having that much fun, or are you just trying to make me feel good? Red, you can take it. Red. When somebody eats crow, they have to take back something they said earlier. Yeah, come to think of it, I wish I could take back the year of my life I wasted listening to that song. Okay, Red, pick a winner. The category? Who will save your pieces? 20,000 bucks says you don't know this one. Hey, remember Jewel? You know that singer with the snaggly old teeth? Say you're such a huge fan of Jewel's Pieces of You album that you decide to actually send her Pieces of You. What would she not say after opening the soggy package? Great gluteus maximus, beautiful biceps, unbelievable ursa major, or awesome aorta. All yours, Red. Ursa major is not a body part, but it is a constellation, better known as the Big Bear. Wow, your lady, your lady, your lady present for me. All right, hit me, Red. Headbutt, woo! Headbutt, woo! Headbutt, woo! H-E-A-D-B-U-T-T, H-E-A-D-B-U-T-T, headbutt. Take a look at your headbutt category. Sticking your tongue in an electrical outlet. I'd say $50,000 sounds like a good place to start this headbutt question.
Want to know how to headbutt? All right, you're going to see an equation like this. All you got to do is figure out the parts and add them together. Let's see here. Paid athlete is pro. Littlest Hanson is Zach. Add them up. Pro Zach. Pretty simple, huh? Now check it out. As the time disappears, so does the money. So the sooner you buzz in, the better. And hey, no fair biting on headbutt questions. Besides, you're going to be busy enough trying to figure out what these two things add up to. AM or FM plus thing that holds your brains. Here you go. The first part of the answer was popular before TV was invented. Before TV? I don't know. Boredom? The second part has hair growing on it. No, not my bud. Clearly, you need help. The answer is those guys who put out that album OK Computer, okay? Dude, have you heard AM or FM Plus? It holds your brains in? That band kicks ass! Yeah, I used to pick up radio signals in my head, too. Then I had my braces taken out, and they went away. I'm so lonely sometimes. Hey, Blue, pick one. For your enjoyment, you make me sickle. And it's worth 20000 bucks if you get this one right. Okay, you know how on Home Improvement, Tim Taylor hosts a show called Tool Time? If Tool Time changes its format and adopts a hammer and sickle logo, what will you expect the new sh- Take it, Green. The hammer and sickle were the symbols of the communist revolution in Russia. <laughs> More power to the people! Pick it, Green. Pick it, Green. <laughs> Looks like this category is A carrot a day keeps Elmer away This one can get you ten grand Alright, you know how Bugs Bunny's always kicking Elmer Fudd's butt? Well, check this Because of the nutrients in Bugs Bunny's carrot diet Which of these special advantages will Bugs have over Elmer Fudd? He can stamp out Elmer with his huge feet He can see Elmer hunt at night He can spit all over Elmer's camp Or he can digest Elmer's metal gun Green. Now, oh, Red, you've just been bit. What do you got? Carrots have a lot of vitamin A, which is really good for your night vision. So remember, eat your carrots because they'll help you uh, escape from short, lisping bald men with guns or something. Uh, nice work, Green. You just bit yourself. Let's pick one, Red. Whoa, green and blue, take a breather, because old Red is about to fly solo in a dis for dad. The category for this dis or dad is... Baby, you move me. All right, I'm going to give you seven characters, and for each one, I want you to tell me if that particular character is made of clay or if it's a cartoon. As each one comes up, if it's clay, press one. If it's a cartoon, press two. And press four if you want to skip. I'll add 5K to your score for a right answer, and you lose 5,000 for a wrong answer or one you don't get to. All righty, bring out the monkey. Let's boogie. Dexter, clay or cartoon? Fat Albert. Gumbag. Charlie Brown. California Raisins. Wallace and Gromit. This is it, Kenny. That's all she wrote. Well, you got five right, which is kind of like, eh, you know. Let's check your total. Okay, how about a new question? <laughs> 